Hello, Richie V here, and today I'm back with another nostalgia reaction. Now, a nostalgia reaction is where I look back at something with rose-tinted glasses to see if it still holds up today. And today, I'm looking at this Kiss song, I Was Made For Loving You. And I did this because a couple days ago, or yesterday, I think it was, I ended up um, doing a Kiss song, uh, but it wasn't by them. It was a slowed-down ballad version of I Was Made For Loving You. So I thought, you know, why don't we watch Kiss perform this song live uh, on the Kiss Symphony? There were several uh, songs on that album uh, that I really believed was the best version of the Kiss song. This is one of them. I think the best version of I Was Made For Loving You is the Kiss Symphony version because the orchestra just really um, added to, you know, added to the sound. It didn't, it didn't change the song. It, the orchestra did not change the song. It added to it. It filled in, and it made it great. There were a couple others. Uh, there was King of the Nighttime World, and there was a song called uh, Do You Love Me? Yes, it was a 70s song called Do You, uh, Do you Love Me? Both those songs, I think the best version, are from this concert. So let's just watch Kiss do this their massive hit, I Was Made for Loving You. It was everywhere. I, you turn on the radio and there it was if you were around at the time. And this, let's watch them with a full symphony doing this great song. All right, let's do it. Here's a song we always play when we come to Australia. You made it a big, big, big hit. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there. Oh, this is perfect. It has Gene Simmons right there. I was actually just listening to um, Gene talk about this song. Gene Simmons never warmed up to this song. It, it is apparently his least favorite Kiss song, which ironically, for a lot of diehard Kiss fans, this is also their least favorite, but it's also one of their most popular songs. And I, and I think that dichotomy between some people just not liking the song and some people do is a very interesting. I myself do like the song. I really do. Um, but I have to say I understand it because it was basically the criticism was that Kiss went disco. And they did. They don't even apologize for it. They're like, yeah, let's try something. I bet Paul Stanley wrote the song as a dance fan, uh, as a dance song, and and it was one of their biggest hits. You know, now after this album, after Dynasty, um, they didn't continue down this road. They just it was just an album where they did some interesting things. Let's get back to it. By the way, that is Peter Chris uh, playing the drums. However, on the on the guitar, it's Tommy Thayer uh, taking the place of Ace, which is kind of unusual because actually uh, one of their better versions of the band 
was uh, when uh, they actually it was Ace Freely on guitar, uh, but they had Eric Singer on the drums. In fact, I'm going to be checking out a concert live from Tokyo, I think it is, that my friend Bob told me about that. Anyway, let's get back to it. <laughs> how the orchestra is enhancing the song, but not changing it. I'm going to stop it right here for my last time, and then I'm going to let it go to the end. I'm just going to say how great the, the, the band and the orchestra blended together. This is a great version of the song. I like except this is my favorite version of I Was Made For Loving You. have been fun being in that orchestra. <laughs> Orchestras don't normally have explosions and screaming crowds <laughs> listening to them. Anyway, uh, I Was Made for Loving You is one of those songs where Kiss was just saying, we're not afraid to do anything. And they proved it a few years later when they took off the makeup. Everybody said, hey, the only reason Kiss is uh, popular, the only reason they, they, they have the, the fan base they have is because they have the makeup on. They took off the makeup. In the 80s, they had hits after hit after hit and, and still sold out stadiums. And so it wasn't the makeup. And then they put it back on and they were still just as popular. They brought back their old members. They had their new members. Whatever version of Kiss there was, it's, you know, it's, it's been great. So this was Kiss. It was I Was Made For Loving You. And if you liked it, hit like or subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And until I see you next time. Have a blessed day.